What is up y'all, Josh here with Big Boy Outdoors and we are back with another year of duck season. Uh, tomorrow is opening morning. We're out here getting everything set up, getting the blinds set up, camping out in the truck, shooting time six o'clock tomorrow morning. So we got out here a couple hours ago. I say we, I'm doing a solo hunt this year. So I got out here a couple hours ago. My two first spots were already taken. So we're on a little wooded hole, a little pond here. Hopefully we can get some action in here. I'm the only hunter on it, uh, a little ways away from the main lake. So let me show you guys what we're working with here. We got a small setup today. All right, so we got a couple decoys out already. This is the whole pond, y'all. A couple decoys out there. We'll have a spinning wing going in the morning, but hopefully we can get them right here in between, knock them down. So that's what we're working with there. Just me, this pond, Sun will be coming up behind us in the morning, which will be good. So y'all stay tuned. I'll see y'all in the morning. Hopefully we can get some birds down. All right, y'all, we're making a pit stop here. We're headed into town. We got a few hours to kill before it gets dark. So I'm about to head to Walmart, get me the cheapest little ultralight pole I can. And we're gonna see if we got any fish in this little pond we're hunting. I didn't see any, but look like a spot for some little largemouth bass, just something fun to kill the time. So. Y'all stick with me. If we catch anything, I'll put it in here. If not, I'll see y'all in the morning. We're gonna get this fish. Finally get it. No, we got mossed. Unless it's a small one. Oh, baby bass. Look at that. With some salad. Look at that. About a four or five ouncer. Go grow. Catch you when you're bigger. It's on that black and blue crack and crawl. It's getting dark. We're about to have to get back to the truck and get to camping, but let's see if we can get another one while we're out here. <coughs> I know that was not very adventurous. Uh, opening day, we got absolutely goose egged. I did not see one bird over the pond. Heard gunshots on the main lake, but nothing happening for us. So we're back at it. Second day of the season. Uh, the reason I left that in there is because I want to try and show y'all every hunt that we go on this year. The good, the bad, the ugly. We don't always get birds. Um, rarely ever get skunked like I got saturday though so it is tuesday morning new day things are not looking the greatest uh we're sitting at three o'clock in the morning it is already 69 degrees highs today are supposed to be mid 80s almost no wind and the wind we are getting is out of the south but uh, we'll be on a hunt today with my boy alex hopefully we can get some down for y'all but uh just stay tuned to find out 
there's five or six about to fly over this dude's head. Oh no, they're flying to us. Let's just stay quiet and see what they do. Or not. Look, there's like 20 of them about to fly over our head. Oh, they're turning. No, they're not. Think we could have hit them? No. Okay. I'm wondering if they don't want in this grass or what, because that's like the... What? In the air or in the water? Oh, you did. It's right there. It's about to come end our spread. You take him. Typically, I'd have let him work longer, but they haven't been working us, so... I got that one. And that one. Sir. That one's right there. Yeah, that one I was perfect on coming right over. Take that. Take really? You didn't even move. Wasting shells like they're cheap. Oh, there's one cupping up in dark spread. Got him. I barely saw that. <laughs> I'm not even lying. Well, I didn't want to shoot because it was across your body by the time like i pulled up on him and he was right in front of us but he started to swing left and i would have shot five foot in front of your face it's another hen ringer too is there going to be any meat left i mean yeah i'm just saying like the weight it's everything oh, wow. gone bro i didn't even see that duck until it was like feet down in our spread sweet Sweet. Tree of them. Tree fitty. That'll make for some good poppers. I'm glad you hit that thing. I'd have made fun of you forever. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? That thing, I literally pulled up and it's like right here in my face. And I'm like. I know. Hey, I was going to say you could have hit it just, with the barrel of your. Skunks off for me now too. Get some ducks, boy. And you're like right there. Where? <laughs> like right there. She was close enough to where I saw your shot hit her on the side and at the back right there. Did you get that on video? Yeah. Joe, well, that went just about as expected. Uh, I knew we weren't going to see a lot of birds. Uh, it's 9.30 in the morning right now, and it's almost 75 degrees, so we haven't had any kind of cold front come through really yet. Uh, migration's not even close to Texas yet, but we got out. Me and my buddy had fun, good time. Uh, we did end up with three, three ring neck hens, so we were some Susie Slayers today, but the good news is that gets us some meat we can get in the kitchen show y'all a new recipe that y'all haven't seen yet we didn't get skunked we got the season started off on an okay note so hopefully it'll just get better from here but i'm gonna get this drive home i got about an hour and a half back home and we will see y'all when we get in the kitchen all right welcome back to the kitchen y'all i hope y'all enjoyed that duck hunt 
Uh, we did end up with the three birds, and if you're wondering why there's only five breasts here, because that last bird you shot, Alex absolutely smoked the left side of the breast off of that duck, so thank you for that, Alex. I know you're watching. But today we're going to be making some Texas-sized poppers. Uh, we're going to be doing them in the kitchen instead of on the grill like traditionally. It's dark outside and I really just didn't want to use the grill. But if y'all want to see how to grill some poppers, I do have a video I'll leave in the description. It's with Dove, but Dove, Duck, all the same thing. So let's get into it. For the ingredients, we got your duck breast, bacon, some Anaheim peppers, cream cheese, shredded cheddar cheese, whatever seasoning you like. We're going to be using a cast iron skillet, then they're going to go in the oven to finish up. <clears throat> that cast iron skillet's really just to get the bacon crispy how we like it. So like I said, whatever seasoning you want here, I got Texas brisket. Uh, I pretty much use this on any red meat except steak, but you can go ahead and give it a good dust in there. Just on the breast, we're going to go both sides. move on I did mix the cream cheese and cheddar cheese up in a bowl uh, cut the Anaheim peppers in half about the same length as the duck breast so like any other popper we're gonna start with the pepper got the cream cheese there I'm actually using the oregano herb cream cheese give it a little bit of extra flavor uh, I'm not sure if I already said this but I did soak these duck breasts in salt water in the fridge for about 12 hours Helps pull out some of that blood, get rid of some of that gamey taste that a lot of people don't like. But we're going to fill that pepper up with cream cheese just like that. One duck breast on the top. Kind of push it into the cream cheese, helps it hold a little bit better. And then you're going to take one strip of bacon. Uh, I like using thin bacon for this just because the thick bacon is hard to get crispy without overcooking duck. And that is the last thing you want to do. Duck should be a nice uh, medium rare. So when you're done, they're just going to look like that. We might put one extra strip of bacon around there, uh, but that's what it's going to look like. We'll get the other four done up and we'll get them dropped in the pan. Look at that. We did end up using about a strip and a half of bacon on each one. So we got a cast iron skillet here. It's on medium high heat. It's about ready. So we're going to go ahead and drop them in. Like I said, the only thing we're doing here is crisping up the bacon. So, get a nice little sizzle. We're definitely not going to be fitting all five of these in this pan. So we'll go three at a time. Let that bacon get crisped up a little. Flip them. And then put them in the oven. Alright, so we got the bacon crispy there. We're going to throw it in the oven. Uh, we got a probe in that one there. We're going to get it going until it's at 130. We'll pull out of the oven and let it rest. Got it set for 130. It's only sitting at 80 degrees right now. Anybody else cheat like that? Just take your Halloween candy and put it in a different bowl so that you can be prepared for Christmas. Just me. All right, well, we're going to get this in the oven. We'll see y'all when it comes out. Give it a taste test. Look at that there. Cream cheese melted nicely. We pulled it out at 1.30. We're going to let them rest here for about 10 minutes and cut into it. Now here we go. Moment of truth. Yes, Lord. Y'all look at that. We got some medium rare action going on right there. That just looks delicious. We're going to get to the table and try this. we we'll give it a rating 1 out of 10. Let's get it. Here we go. Let's take a look. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Look at that. Still pink in the center. I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10. Here we go. That's good right there. Uh, I will say duck steak is probably my favorite way to do it. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll leave it here at the end for you. You can check that out. Uh, we got videos coming all year. So, got the season started off good. Looking to get back to some more hunts. We got deer season, uh, deer hunt coming up as well. So, if y'all like the video, go ahead, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate y'all for watching. And we'll see you next time on Big Boy Outdoors.